Hi, welcome, welcome back. If you've been here before, I am Whitney and I do 20 minute makeup looks. And as you can see, if you've watched any of my videos before, we've made an attempt at fixing our hair. Uh, it is a style in progress. And for whatever reason, the light's really terrible, but we're making it work. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm gonna use this sweet cat hair clip to just kind of pop it up out of my face and we're going to get started. So today I am meeting with someone who will potentially be becoming my new boss in the next few months to a year. Don't really know what's going on there, um, but it is my first time meeting them. So I want to, you know, make an impression or as much of one as I can. And that means looking presentable. So I will not be wearing this blue button-up shirt. I will put on a real shirt, I think. My plan right now is a black satin. Well, not black, it's really a really dark slate gray satin blouse. And then if you watched my last video, I think it was, I did a quick jewelry haul. I've got a silver rhinestone necklace, this a little rhinestone bow. Um, and it came with a ring, which I'll put on just for the sake of having all of the pieces on. And then I'll find some earrings that coordinate with it. I'm sure I have something, even if I don't have the exact earrings that belong with that set. I am starting off by priming my lids with my Morphe Filter FX Concealer, which I can see I am running low on. But I have a backup because I bought two last time because they were on sale. Um, so that's good. So we're gonna do something like, hey look, I can do my makeup and look nice and normal today. So what that's gonna be, I don't know, but it's gonna be something. Um, I am really proud of myself because Juvia's Place had another sale over the weekend. And I was this close, I was really this close to buying like seven more palettes and an eyeliner. I needed the extra $4 to get the free shipping. But I restrained myself because I literally have a drawer full of Juvia's Place right in front of me. I have like 12. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need any more. Wanting them and needing them are different things. Um, but because we we're going to be wearing that gray, I'm going to go ahead and use the Rebel Grace today. I think this will be good. So I'm going to find me a fluffy brush in my fluffy brushes. This is a Muda crease brush. And really just has the one matte in it, so I'm just going to jump right in with this dark gray and call it a day. The Juvia's Place makeup is extremely blendable and buildable, so you don't need a ton to kind of get your point across. So we're just going to do this gray eye with a silver sparkly lid that will match the necklace pretty well. I'll come over here, get started building up this side. Ah. Blending, blending, blending. Not much to say about that. I think I need a little more over here. This is actually going to be a pretty simple look. Um, so I've used this matte gray. Next, I'm going to come in with this. It is not a matte, like it's a little shiny silver, but it's shiny, not sparkly. I don't know if I can make that show up, but we're going to start our lid with that before we come in with something a little more hi-fi do a little lo-fi and a little hi-fi and then i think i'm going to use this one down here it's just a little more silvery this one's got just like a little bit of i don't know undertone to it Not wildly dramatic. Okay. 
Okay, see, super easy. It does not have to be complicated. I'm going to find me a, I guess I'm gonna use Morphe Dark Room. It is a blackish dark gray, I think it's black eyeliner pencil. So we're gonna keep that nice and thin and real close to my lash line. Should we get all the way out? Oops. Well, that ended up being thicker than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Whatever's. Try this side now. Yeah, is it just one twitchy eyelid? There we go. Eyeliner. All right. That is a nice pencil. I like those Morphe eyeliners. Um, I'm going to do the Panorama Mascara from L'Oreal. Just come in here and start popping this on. Tell you what, I love this tapered brush. It really helps me get those inner corners and outer corners without like getting mascara all over my face. Okay. Beautiful angle. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, let it dry. For those of you who have not seen or heard this hack, if you get like mascara on your skin, let it dry and then buff it off with like a clean spoolie and it totally works. It doesn't smear it because it's dry and like it doesn't mess up your eyeshadow because you're just gently brushing it off. I mean, if you get in there and like scrub it, yeah, I'm sure it'll do some damage to whatever you've done or if you have like a very detailed and graphic eye, you might see some damage to it. But like for something like this, and it just got a little bit more, I will just let it dry. And then I'll just use the other end of my brow pencil brush and uh, scrape that off and it will be gone. Do a little under eye over here. Bam. Bam. We'll come back in and do some little bit of under eye stuff here in a little bit. But we're going to move on to foundation. This is the Maybelline Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation, color 112, if you care. But you probably don't. Why would you care what color the foundation is? Come in with my Morphe face brush here. Modi, not Morphe, sorry. Moda, not Modi, oh my gosh. Promise I'm okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a fast look today. We're already over halfway done and we're only 10 minutes in, not even 10 minutes in, so. Maybe we're doing 15 minute looks by Whitney today. All right, we got that. I'm gonna do a little bit of under eye concealer to brighten that up. 
because last night was yet another night of my children not allowing me to sleep, so I am carrying that underneath that eye pretty heavily. I really need to work on hydrating better and making sure I am moisturizing. I get lazy on weekends because I am exhausted from manhandling two toddlers all day. But I really need to do better, especially with just drinking water in general. It makes such a huge difference. But okay, I feel better about that. Put those away. I'm not going to set yet because I want to do my under eyes first. Just going to come out way off. Hmm. This little angled brush. It's called the angular brush from Moda. It's very soft. So I'm just going to come in here and just kind of buff some of this dark gray matte that I used in my crease along that bottom lash line. Also help fill in those bottom lashes a little bit, being this dark color. Okay, nailed it. Brush, palette, and drawer. Let's attack these brows. Just gonna do a quick brushki, and then I'll use that spoolie when I am done here too. Clean that mascara off over there. I think I might have overdone it a little today. <laughs> That's what we get. Need to do a sharpen on this. So you'll see that in my next video. Ha ha ha. I'm not going to mess with it today. Okay. And then if you can see that little dot there. Oops, a little bit there. There we go. All gone. Just a few soft strokes of your cleanish. I'm sure it's got a little bit of brown on it. Spoolie. Okay. Cheekers. Oh, I think I'm going to use this Pat McGrath Bridgerton. Love it for splash today. It looks strong. It's not as bad in real life, and I'm going to tone it down with some powder. <laughs> but again, I am on camera, so I want a little bit extra, a little bit stage makeup-y. See, we're going to pat over it. Take it down a level. Lovely. It's about time for a new powder. Yay, new makeup that I need. Okay. All we have left to do is some lippy lips. Ooh, bed hair, right? Can I dig it? <laughs> I'm going to come in with this Pat McGrath lip conditioner. It's because, again, dehydrated. I should have put that on like 10 minutes ago. And let's see, what are we going to use today, today, today? I have so many options in red. One might argue I have too many options in red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38,
23, just, and I might have missed some. Yes, there are that many shades of red. Um, let's just stick with the Morphe today since we got that on our eyes and our face. This is dusty on the bottom because I haven't used it in a long time. It does not say. I don't know what this is. It will be a matte, whatever it is. So. Okay, I totally dig it. There is a really fuchsia -y undertone to this red, but I still like it. Let's pull back off the light a little bit. Sorry, my bedroom. Hi. All right, and that is the finished look for today. So once I get changed and get the jewelry on, I'll post a picture on my Instagram if you want to go check that out at Looks by a Whitney. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.